Hello and welcome to this introductory video for this tournament shoutcast. Like I promised, I will be commentating on all the available replays from the World Cyber Arena. Uh, now note that I am going to do this because basically I couldn't find any other channel that has done this yet. Um, I know that Crota did like one of the series, but I don't think that counts because, you know, there's more than one series in a tournament. Uh, the guys over at Back to Warcraft did a wonderful job casting the tournament live, like during the actual time being there as well. But they didn't actually, I don't think they have VODs in their Twitch, or at least I can't find it. Um, Twitch isn't that great when it comes to past video, like VODs basically. So yeah, I couldn't find it anywhere for some reason. So you know, it's all the more reason for me to actually do this. So before I get into anything, I will say that this video will be about the tournament, like all its pertaining information. If you want the actual games, then I will upload like another video that will act as some sort of navigation for all my future, uh, I guess, uploads. So, you know, thanks to the magical powers of annotations, uh, whenever it's ready, I will hopefully, you know, get the annotations updated and all that. So for those of you that don't know, let's get into the details of this tournament. So WCA essentially replaced WCG. The World Cyber Game since 2000 was running every year, it was a pretty big esports tournament. I guess people could say it's the biggest esports because it's not it's not just one game, it's multi-game uh, multi-gaming esports tournament including the one for Warcraft like it brang matches such as the Moon Grubby series uh, in 2008, gracing the world of esports and just in the world of general. Sadly, 2014 WCG actually closed for some inexplicable reason, uh, but some people, you know, including myself, think it has to do with just it's not profitable anymore. I mean, they ho they hold so many game tournaments with high prize pools, and you know probably they couldn't find anyone to pay for that so yeah it it didn't look too well so WCG uh, unfortunately closed so WCA is an attempt in trying to keep the multi-gaming esports scene alive or at least in China because this is where it originated from thankfully the game uh, one of the games that they picked up was Warcraft so you know casting a tournament about this so the prize pool wasn't that much like it it got completely dwarfed by Hearthstone, unfortunately, but uh, what can you do with a dead game? So anyway, let's get underway to the int introduction of the actual tournament. So, uh, as far as I know, there was only one regional qualifier, and that was throughout Europe. Curiously enough, no Koreans were invited, or at least, you know, Korea didn't even have a qualifi qualifier. Um, so there's that. So Moon will not be showing up at all, even though he hasn't played Warcraft all that much recently, uh, but then again I guess some people in the tournament that actually participated didn't either. So yeah, I won't be covering the European qualifiers, uh, mainly because I actually can't find it, but um, let's go straight into the main event. A total of 16 players divided into 4 groups. Uh, each group will face each other in a best of 2, meaning that there should be around 48 games to cover. Um, that's quite a lot actually, that's not including the best of 8, or round of 8. Unfortunately I am missing a couple of games, uh, particularly two like complete series from these group group matches, so yeah, sorry about that, but it's China, China's not particularly well known for uh, publicly releasing tournament replays, so I don't know what's wrong with that, but don't worry. Uh, for those that want to know what happened, like uh, what was the end score, then you know between the group matches and then the tiebreakers, I will reveal that kind of information. But of course, it's not that hard to find it in the internet anyway. So let's introduce the groups. First off is Group A for the Chinese players. We have Yumiko spawning in, spawning in, well playing. He's going to be playing Human. Uh, I am Zhao Shishi because is going to be playing Night Elf. Fantafiction will be playing Undead, and lastly, hailing from the Sheikh Republic, we have Seshi. Yay! Uh, he is going to be playing Undead as always. <clears throat> okay, to the next group, we have 
uh, coming in from China again. We have Enfi going to be playing human like what else? Uh, three is going to be playing Night Elf. I actually don't know that player. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we have another player called 120. Um, he's also known as Tara521, so um, that's probably a more common name than 120. I don't know what's, what, what's that up with. But he is going to be playing Undead. And finally, from Russia, I think, uh, we have Nicker playing Night Elf. So, <clears throat> yeah. In Group C, some people dub it as the Group of Death. Uh, we have from China Tho, who will be playing whatever he wants, honestly. I mean, if he's gonna Human Mirror, uh, that's not gonna be a Human Mirror, that's just gonna be whatever he wants to choose. Elegant playing Night Elf. And uh, from Russia, we have Inquisitive Hawk, probably the strongest European player uh, of all Europe, so that's, you know, that's interesting. Uh, he, also, he also does well against Chinese players anyway. And lastly, we have U Ukraine's Pornosonic uh, playing Night Elf, obviously. Hawk is playing Human, I forgot to include that. Finally, the last group, Group D, uh, it's comprising of Fly 100% and ZDR as Orc, WFZ as Undead, all three from China, and last but no means least, we have the United Kingdom's War Chief Rich as Night Elf. So yeah, 11 players and five, uh, 11, 11 players from China, uh, five from, you know, the rest, Europe slash Russia. Um, what was interesting is actually, uh, Nicker didn't qualify through any series or qualifiers, so he was probably invited because only four Europeans were said to have qualified, so yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, race breakdown, we have four humans, uh, a whopping four undead, that's ridiculous. Another huge, like, six night elves, and as expected, only two orcs, because, yeah. Um, surprisingly, humans were toppled by night elves, I don't know how, but that just happened. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're going to see more demon hunters in Archmagi. Uh, and since, you know, I can count Tho as a Night Elf off race when he goes against Human, that just gets better. Uh, and lastly, the prize pool and map pools. Uh, the prize pool will be on the screen. Note that the prize is in US dollars, so it may look small, but, you know, it's Warcraft, it's it's a dead game. So anyway, in that pool, we have Amazonia, Turtle Rock, Last Refuge, Echo Isles, Ancient Isles, Nomad Isles, Twisted Meadows, Death Road, and finally Bright and Dark. Uh, so that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed the upcoming videos for who knows how long. Uh, I intend to do at least two to three series per week. Uh, that's going to take a long time. I mean, hopefully it's not going to be like YSL. Anyway, uh, yeah, just enjoy this tournament. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the first match. I don't know which one it is. Yeah. <sighs>